Hello, I'm Dave Ayling, MD of Straypoint, and I'm here today to show you our MWLC100 software. This particular setup has allowed me to set up Radio Link 1, 2, 3, and 4, and I've also, in this instance, set up a total load. As this is running in demonstration mode, the numbers created are random, but normally these numbers would be drawn from the load cells wirelessly. If you want to change the amount of load cells, it's quite simple. You click on Edit and Configure. From here, we can choose how many load cells we want from 1 to 100. And you can also change the title of the program and also the title of each load cell. So for instance, if you wanted that to be, for instance, load shackle, you can quite easily change that. When you accept that, you can see now the display says load shackle one. When you're in this display mode, you can click on any one of the load cell inputs. Once inside this screen, you can see minimum, maximum values for that particular load cell. You can zero the display, and then you can then come back to the original display. If you want to data log the data for your lift per load cell, it's quite simple to do. You come to configure project. And from here, you can set the software to log automatically at a set interval or manual. So you press start and stop or while an overload or underload condition. This is useful if you don't want to gather data below or above a certain reading. This here allows you to change the interval for logging. So we'll leave it set at 1000 milliseconds. To start logging, we simply press start logging. We'll create the file on the desktop, we we'll call it test1, and we're now logging data. So as the load cells are having load applied, we're logging that data. Down here you can see uh, information on the log. When we're finished, we come to stop logging. Once you've finished data logging, open up the Excel spreadsheet that we put on the desktop. And you can see here we have time and date and then the four load cells and the total load. I've also added in very quickly a graph to give a graphical representation of the load cell lift there. Two other features of the configuration page include a web server facility. The web server allows you to direct the readings from this software up onto a local area network so that any other PC on the network can view the loads and the other test criteria that are being displayed. The reports button here allows you to set up HTML reports so you can capture single reading data which can be used at a later date for certificates etc. Another excellent feature of MWLC100 software is the ability to lay out mapping screens. This allows you to bring in photographs, images and symbols and customise a screen so that your operator can see exactly what they need to. So using the edit and the edit map tool here, we can now bring up this toolbar. Using the toolbar, we can quite quickly bring in displays which we can drag and drop and we can link to any one of the load cells. In this instance, I will link it to load cell 1. We can also bring in text boxes and again we can link those, so I'll link that to the description of load cell 1. This example map screen shows you some of the many objects and icons that you can put on here. So you can have tables, displays, text objects, bar objects, icons and pictures. And these can all be linked back to the wireless load cells that you connected to the software to. All in all, you can see why this powerful piece of software goes ideally with any one of the straight point load cells from our wireless range. For more information, please have a look at www.straightpoint.com or follow us on Twitter at LoadCell. Thank you.